I don't even think I own a shoe that's softer leather than this. I wouldn't expect any less from a man that dated Carmen Electra. YouTube Retro got back with another banger and on today's episode we're taking a look at the Nike Shake and Destruct, the Dennis Rodman PE from that 7210 series of all time legendary statuses. Let's throw these hoes on a turntable, lift up the skirt, slap that ass, see what they're made of. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We're about to throw these hoes on the turntable, do a 360 spin out, backflip McTwist Indy 540 and see if these joints are all they're made up to be. All right, YouTube uh, family, let's take a look at what we got here. Dennis Rodman shaking destruct, starting off with this amazing padded, plush, tumbled leather dog dog. You see that? I don't even gotta say nothing. This padded leather is one of the best quality leathers I've ever had in a retro. I ain't giving these up. I ain't giving these up ever. I told you, I told you 1996 was one of the best years for sneaker design of all time. I mean, we're talking about the Jordan 11, the Kamikaze 2, oh, and the Shake and Destruct. <laughs> Dog. 96 you you know what that's gonna feel like on foot the whole top of the shoe is just like uh you got this plastic air button here and that's you know that's one of them old style 90s jeweled kind of you know I, they gotta put those on more they gotta put those on more shoes man they gotta put those on more shoes straight up you have an almost entirely leather upper and the top portion is extremely padded and extremely um tumbled while the bottom portion is tumbled and it's a little bit more tough helps with stability you have a extremely exaggerated Nike swoosh going directly across the front of this giant shroud that makes up most of the upper of the shoe. Yo, you guys remember that Dennis Rodman movie with John claude Van Damme? I swear the man was in a kung fu flick too, if I'm not mistaken. My memory could be fuzzy or something, but yeah, the man was in a kung fu film. Um, the toe box has a lot of perforation in it and the mud guard creeps up pretty high with a really nice um, red on black uh, Nike swoosh. Now, once again, this shoe is basically a giant shroud over a textile inner and you have this offset lacing system and you would expect nothing less from Dennis Rodman and you know the guy that was plugging Carmen Electra but you know it it really suits his personality the I ain't even gonna front man when I seen Dennis Rodman wearing all that crazy hair and shit dying up his hair I wanted to try that but no my mom just was slapped me upside the head like what no crazy lacing nature of this shoe i mean the laces are so out there and it looks like stitching nike swoosh right here on the strap let's just open her up for you to get a closer look at this inner shroud this shoe does do a good job of stretching out you can see how the eye stays are a bit different thick cuts of leather there and it's pretty impressive to tell you the truth so if we open the eye sh the shroud up you have a padded textile upper with a red um lining here and it's a cotton it's like a cotton interior like a polyester cotton mix but that's very soft the stitching on the leather comes all the way to the inside of the shroud and on the inside of the shoe you have a black insole yo Dennis Rodman might be one of the best rebounders of all time in the NBA the man was a little magician you know what I'm saying if it weren't for Rodman I don't know if they would have got that 7210 make sure you guys refer to the last dance if you guys don't know what I'm talking about God bless the last dance and screw you last dance at the same time simultaneously you raised the price of the Jordans that I wanted while at the same time raising the price of the Jordans I already had double-edged sword yeah, I think so. This is one of those shoes that is kind of awkward when you first get it and you're kind of, it's kind of annoying a little bit trying to lace it up at the sides. But when you get used to the shoe and you actually put it on and wear, it's one of the best, actually most comfortable shoes that you can wear, especially because of that upper. So once again, it just takes a little bit of getting used to different lacing system. But for the most part, when you put these joints on, you put these joints on and they actually warm up in your feet, break them in and all that, these are actually fire dog the way these feel i i walked around you know toronto city all day doing a photo shoot in these and i didn't even notice they was on so yo dennis rodman was one of the only mans to get invited to north korea by kim jong-un dog like how many people even see that country or even get close i swear they're lopping off people's heads for even trying to escape the border so that shows you dennis rodman's that dude bro that man has pull bro you know what i'm saying he's going places that nobody else is allowed to go you know the midsole and 
and the outsole is very nice, rises halfway up, and you have a visible air unit on the outside of the shoe, and that actually, you know, it just kind of ties the shoe together, man. Shake and destruct branding on the back, and that's really cool, man. Nylon pull tab on the bottom of the shoe. The traction is a very, like, shark tooth. It almost looks like the Kamikaze zigzag pretty much when you have a giant Nike swoosh on the heel of the shoe so yeah man I love when they put black outsoles on these shoes because it means they don't begin dirty that quick and it helps them to last a little bit longer than they normally do now, when you're talking about fit for these baddies I would highly suggest going true to size because you don't want too much extra space when you have such a good quality leather these will stretch out indefinitely um, I bought them used because I couldn't find them brand new and they were in superb shape just without a box and yeah man one-to-one -one fit as a muff in this I'm telling you right now dog you put these on your foot and you get used to them you ain't gonna want to take them off I wonder what it was like to party with Rodman those are probably some wicked parties bro probably all supermodels coke hair nails piercings all of that 10 15 rebounds a night no problem like as if he wasn't drinking at all He's a machine. I was absolutely sure that these shoes was gonna be killing my foot dog by you know an hour or two into wearing them and I was just so shocked that they did so well. But once again, man, branding on 10, fit on 10, design on 10, you know what I mean? Comes, you get some air. What do you guys think of these, man? These are, to me, these is fire. I got these actually on uh, Facebook Marketplace for like really cheap and like, yeah, I'm super happy with them, man. I got them for like 80 bucks. But as you can see on stock X, they're going for like 250 up, 250 and change. So, you know what I'm saying? These came out like 2000, what, 2015, 2016. I said it before and I'll say it again. 1996 was the best year for shoe design in all of sneaker history. In all of basketball sneaker history, 1996 had to have been the most out there designs. And the whole mid 90s era was just, uh, we're still wearing them today. That's how ill it was. They come in a bunch of different colorways. If you guys been sleeping on these, if you go on Google and put in the shake and destruct, you'll see just how many colorways they have of this. Do not sleep on this model. What do you guys think of these shoes? Did you end up getting a pair at, by, at any time? Because these kind of like come on and off the shelf every now and then. I saw the black colorway come and go. I saw this colorway come and go, but once they're gone, they're highly coveted. What do you guys think? Did you get a pair? Did you even know that they dropped? And are you planning on checking out this leather for yourself? Because I highly would if I would suggest it if I were you. And I mean, yeah, the, the laces are a bit funky, but yo, dog, it's innovation. That's how it is, man. Anyways, guys, that's the review for today. Make sure you <clears throat> hit that like and subscribe button in the mouth because you already know it helps me on the algorithms. It's your boy Retro God back with another one. Until next time, wear what you like, not what's the hype. On foot coming up next. Perfect. 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 Perfect.